Hey there, Knicks fans. You knew I could not let a Taj Gibson signing go without uh, saying a few words about. I keep wanting to call him the original OG, but original is part is what the O and OG stands for. So that doesn't really uh, make any sense. Original, original gangster. Sure. Let's go with that. Um, so Taj is back uh, for anybody who may have missed the news. Um, he signed uh, a 10 day contract with the New York Knicks. So um, they did have an open roster spot. Uh, it was a roster spot that actually uh, last belonged to Taj and uh, they had signed him earlier in the year to a non-guaranteed contract that I believe I forget what the guaranteed date on that earlier contract was, but essentially they waived him when they waived him to avoid having to be on the hook for his full veteran uh, minimum salary, which is not an insignificant amount because he has a lot of years of service time. Um, so to avoid being on the hook for that and having that count against the the cap for the remainder of the year. So that's why they raved from originally with the thinking being that, Hey, we might make a trade here in the you know coming days or weeks where we're going to need to do a two for one situation, maybe take in two players and send out one player. So it just kind of made it made sense to to do that, especially with, and this was again after um, Precious Achua was on the roster. So Taj was essentially the uh, the fourth um, big, the fourth center in line. Um, I first of all, it's great to have him back. It's always great to have Taj back. I mean, I don't need to wax poetic about Taj. He is. It, you know, a, a Nick for life. As far as I'm concerned, I just looked it up. So he's played 169 games with the franchise that ranks um, one thirteenth all time. He's two games away from tying Bob McAdoo, former MVP, Bob McAdoo. And uh, for anybody wondering uh, in 100th place on the all times games played list is Kevin Knox at 195. I don't know if, Taj is going to get into 26 more games, considering this is just a 10 day contract. Um, but here's what I will say. It's a 10 day contract. They can, they can sign them to another 10 day after this. I think you get the maximum is two or three 10 days in a row, but uh, they could definitely sign him to a second 10 day and a second 10 day, or even this 10 day actually will bring him past the trade deadline. So if the Knicks don't make a trade before the trade deadline um, to where they need this roster spot, I would imagine that Taj will probably be here for the rest of the year. One, because he's Taj and it's always, if you could have a Taj around, you might as well have a Taj around. Um, but two, and this is probably the more important point. I, I don't think this is just about, you know, Hey, like we got the roster spot. We could always wave Taj if we need to. Um, we're now 10 days until the trade deadline. We might as well do it. Cause it's, it's easy to, to get out of it if we need to. But it's crazy for a team with so many centers, the position all of a sudden is a little tenuous. So if you go through it now, Julius Randle, obviously uncertain for the rest of the season. And at that position, yeah, you figure OG is going to be fine. OG and is going to be fine and he'll be able to fill in there uh, at the at the starting four for however long Randall is out. But obviously, OG missed the game last night. And then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, well, now one of our centers has to step in as the starting four. Um, like, let's just say, for argument's sake, Precious or, or Sims or, or Hart, we'll get to Hardenstein in a second, but like one of their existing big men goes down with an injury, you're, you're going to need a, a warm body. And that gets me to the, the bigger thing here, which is Hardenstein. So Hardenstein for the second game in a row, his second game back after a two game absence for your, for an Achilles uh, injury, uh, only played 16 minutes. He probably he certainly could have played more. Um, but I, I don't, I don't think anyone has reported this yet uh, explicitly, but I would not be surprised if it comes out at some point in the near future that, uh, that, uh, um, that, uh, Isaiah Hardenstein is on a minutes limit and might be on a minutes limit for the foreseeable future for the rest of the season. So if that's the case, and if he's going to need to perhaps, you know, it's, it's an Achilles thing. So maybe there's a re-aggravation where he has to miss more time. All of a sudden you like, even if it's for 
five or 10 minutes in a game, you might actually need touch. So I think this is, you know, notable uh, for that reason. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens moving forward. I mean, give give the team credit for this. Um, whatever adversity they face in terms of, uh, you know, roster stuff, in terms of guys going down injured, they always do seem to have a, an answer. And like Taj was his stint earlier this year, you know, great. Like, no, it wasn't great, but he's serviceable. He is the definition of a serviceable NBA role player at this point. So great to have Taj back. Um, we of course will always welcome him with open arms. Um, and, uh, I'll be curious to see how soon he is, uh, in uniform. I wonder if he'll, he'll, he'll actually be, <laughs> wouldn't shock me if he's at the garden for the jazz game tonight, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. That's enough for me. Long live Taj. And, uh, I'll talk to all you guys soon.